lives changing, changing lives. If there's one thing we know from reading the New Testament, it is that Jesus changes lives for the better. This is the gospel message that in relationship with Christ, our lives change. And then it doesn't stop there because as our lives change, we have the privilege of joining Christ as he changes the lives of others. This is truly good news. Talk about changing lives. When I first came to First Presbyterian in Hickory, I was uh, the first time for me to be a full-time pastor. It was a big change for my family. We had to adjust. I had to learn to juggle the roles of mother, wife, and full-time pastor. But the friendships I've developed in that time period when I worked at First Presbyterian have continued today, and I'm very grateful for those. Well, I joined this church in 1953. I've been a member here at First Presbyterian Church for about 23 years now. I've been a member at First Presbyterian for 28 years. We have just recently joined the church. We started uh, about six months ago visiting. Things have kind of just grown, and we've uh, recently joined the, the church and was actually baptized uh, last Sunday. The contemporary service is a wonderful, wonderful thing that we've just launched about a little over a year ago. What we're trying to do here is preserve the core of First Presbyterian Presbyterian in terms of our traditional service, but also find outreach uh, that maybe brings in new members or the unchurched or people who are looking for another avenue to find worship for younger families. I've been on uh, over 30 mission trips with this church since 1991. I have been a Sunday school teacher. I've been a member of Christian education. I've been real active in all different aspects from Christian education and outreach committees early on to the last 15 years involved with the youth group. Our youth ministry uh, takes many shapes. It could be through our Wednesday night suppers uh, where we bring in our kids. They have table parents that are wonderful people uh, who, who commit their time and help mentor our kids. We have multiple youth groups. We have a senior high and a junior high uh, youth group that do wonderful mission trips uh, several times a year. They do retreats. So there are many different touch points in terms of how our kids can get involved and also how the parents can volunteer and use their unique talents. This church has been uh, active in uh, foreign missions to Africa and to uh, Hispanic countries for a long time. Well, my life really was significantly changed at First Presbyterian with my very first mission trip, which was 1993. I didn't grow up in the church. This was all new to me. And um, I really started to feel the presence of God in my life on that very first mission trip. I've been on a few mission trips with the youth group and the biggest life-changing one for me was Honduras. Getting acquainted with a different uh, ethnic group and getting to know them as people had a significant impact on me and on my life. When you talk about mission at First Presbyterian Church, it's more than just mission trips. There are a lot of activities this church is involved in. So First Presbyterian has been with us since 1969 from the very beginning. Um, First Presbyterian has always been one of our top five donating churches financially. So they've been a huge part of our ability to help those in need in our community. First Presbyterian was one of the founding churches of the soup kitchen. Mary Lou Dixon, uh, who was a member of First Presbyterian, started the Hickory Soup Kitchen. So the connection actually starts from the very beginning. Its inception occurred in, uh, in the basement at First Presbyterian Church. Uh, several representatives of First Pres are serving on our Circles Guiding Coalition. Circles is a new program, and this program will focus on taking families living in poverty uh, and moving them out of poverty. It's a very long-term three-year program, so we have lots of First Pres members who are going to serve as volunteers, as mentors and allies in our Circles program, and the leadership over at First Pres has been a huge part of making Circles happen here in Catawba County. We have a, an outreach ministry within our church called Good Samaritan and those various individuals who need, may need some financial assistance with rent or electricity, they have come into our church and we have been able to give them money. The Good Samaritan funds are not part of the budget. 
They are all given out of the love of the people of our church. Uh, lots of volunteers from First Presbyterian over the years uh, have served in one capacity, whether it's in our thrift store, in our community health center, or in our pharmacy. We've had First Pres members here since the very beginning. I'd have to say the various Bible studies that I've been involved in have really enriched my spiritual life, especially the women's retreats. It was changed by the church with the death of our son. Um, we received so much love and so much res respect and support from the people in this community, our church family. When our son died in Cincinnati, Ohio in 2009, it was uh, in January, the weather was horrible. We pleaded with people not to come up there because the roads were so bad, we did not want to um, worry about them also. But when we came home, we were, we were welcomed and loved and um, kissed and hugged and prayed for so much that it had to change our lives. It made us stronger people. Probably the greatest way that First Presbyterian in Hickory changed my life was preparing me to be able to take the call that God put upon my life to come to Baltimore and to serve a small multicultural congregation here that has become even more multicultural in the three years that I've been here. Really excited about what we have in the future with this youth ministry. The youth group is an active group. It's supported by all different generations in the church. They travel. Uh, a lot of lot of mission work that they do locally and even abroad. So when we think about lives changing and changing lives, uh, it's safe to say that my life's been changed by being involved with these young people. And I hope along the way, I believe along the way, that their lives have been changed in a positive way as well. First Presbyterian Church changes lives in this place. We serve hundreds of meals every single day and it could not happen without the church's support. First Presbyterian continues ever since 1969 to today, continues to change lives in our community. So I want to thank you, First Presbyterian, for changing my life. Jesus is the life changer. He has changed our lives through worship and learning and fellowship and mission in First Presbyterian Church. And as His church, as His body on earth, we join Him as He changes the lives of others. This is what we get to be about here at First Presbyterian Church. Thanks be to God.